It's weird women get so many more in the scalp because women often have more hair than men. The incidence of feet melanoma is not zero. So you need to inspect even the bottoms of your feet for skin cancer. <clears throat> melanoma, one of the most deadly cancers that there is, is actually becoming more and more common despite yes. people knowing that they're not supposed to stay in the sun, knowing they're supposed to use sunscreen. Or we don't know if there actually are more or if we just found more of them. We are better at finding them these days and there may be other factors that are contributing such as depletion of the ozone layer, more UV exposure, more sporadic UV exposure. And that's why early detection is so important because with early detection you can cure about 97% of melanomas versus 85% death rate in five years from advanced stages. So that's something that we've known for a long time. Why are we still so bad at screening ourselves or getting screened? Well, I think a lot of people put off for tomorrow what they could be doing today. Not a lot of yeah. People think if people they're sit seeing... out in the sun for no, you know, when they could be sitting inside. Absolutely, or they think that if they've had a general screening from their general doctor that they've had a skin cancer screening, which very often times they haven't. But a lot of doctors forget the patients have backs, mm -hmm. that they'll just examine the front, sort of feel the stomach, listen to the heart, and then tell you to button your robe back up and they really need to have you stand up, do a full head-to-toe exam and say, hey, is there anything weird here? Whoops. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Great, you're ready for your skin cancer check. Just, uh, tying up the old gown here. Terrific. How do I look? Very stylish. Every time you get in the shower, every time you're naked. What about the parts of my body that I can't see? That's why you need everyone needs a dermatologist to check oh, those areas. Or a, a close friend. Or a close friend. Or a, close friend. Or a buddy. Intimate partner. Or a buddy, yeah. Um, that could be part of a relationship. When I look at your moles, I am looking for those ABCDs. I'm looking for asymmetry. I'm looking for fuzzy borders. I'm looking for more than one shade of color diameter bigger than a pencil eraser, and of course you would have to tell me if any of your moles have recently changed. So you have a clean bill of health. I'm gonna mark our findings down here. I have not applied sunscreen in a few hours, so uh, I should probably reapply it, especially since we're sitting in the direct sunlight. Yeah, I... Why I, did you make me do this? <laughs> well, people always come up to me and say, hey, how do I prevent cancer? How do I keep myself from dying of cancer? And I say it's simple. You know, I, I can't promise anything, but if you examine yourself for skin cancers regularly, you can decrease that risk. Now, can I give you an exact number? Sure. 65,000 percent. Now, did I make up that number? Sure. But if it helps you to engage in skin cancer screening, then I think it's okay to lie a little bit. Don't lie, Jim. <laughs>